Chris Duffin, coming to you from Kabuki Strength here. Uh, today is, well, actually my first uh, time joining, uh, doing uh, live calls uh, with uh, the Kabuki Strength team. And I'm going to talk about goal setting. And this is going to be, a lot of my pieces uh, to this are going to go outside of our normal spectrum of talking about uh, uh, human movement, load, uh, those sorts of things. And will probably play a role in overall impact on life, business, uh, those sorts of things. So um, with that in mind, goal setting, I did come prepared. Uh, I wore my grand goal shirt today, of course. Um, is an incredibly important piece in life. Uh, this, is, this is how you create life, uh, you know, that, that vision of life that you want to have. Um, and uh, it, it's, it, it's something I'd say that uh, I, I can be criticized for a lot of things. I can criticize myself for a lot of things. Uh, but one thing that uh, I think that I'm known for is being a very goal-driven person and achieving on those goals. And for those that don't know a little bit of my background, but um, th there's never been in my life a piece where I can fall back um, or a resource to, to 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 lean on. There's no been you know like early in my life no uh, you know I, I failed I didn't get a job I can go crash in my parents' house those sorts of things. Uh, essentially, you know I worked. Uh, through through high school um, so that I have money to actually support and give back to the family to help with the living conditions that we were in. In, uh, in college, I, I put myself through college while at the same time working full time the entirety of, uh, of that. Again, so I could send money home to help support those conditions. And then, then later, uh, as I finished, I uh, ended up taking custody over my sisters as well um, so that, uh, that I could take control of that situation. Again, just a, as a frame of reference for like not having, you know, like the extra money or anything else that can be provided or used as a, is, is a, is a resource. It, it all came down to what I took ownership of and how I accomplished those goals in life. And that's kind of gone on through the through the, my career. Um, I was really successful uh, during the course of my during the course of my professional career, um, ended up being a corporate executive over uh, for about ten years. Over the course of my twenty years working in the uh, the industrial sector, and I think my biggest success during that time was coming into it was one of the smaller companies that uh, that, that I worked for or operated, uh, but it was a uh, twenty million a year, uh, one hundred and twenty employee uh, aerospace company that I that I came into that was essentially failing. Boeing was the largest customer, was about ready to pull the contracts. Uh, they were bleeding money. Um, Boeing was going to pull the contracts because they were essentially one of the worst suppliers as far as quality and delivery, and it continued to, to be that way. And over the, the couple years that I, that I operated that company, uh, turned it around to being the leader, basically the best in class in the world in its category supplier to Boeing. Turned it around financially. Uh, and led it through a sale process and successfully, you know, saved uh, save that company. Uh, so that's that's like the highlight, you know, skipping all the other stuff. Question is, how do you how do you accomplish those things? And obviously, I was a lifter during that time as well. And um, uh, that background will frame some of this discussion. But I, I want you to understand that today's discussion isn't just all like theory or a motivation piece or whatever. We're going to work through uh, the an actual goal setting process during the course of this. So <clears throat> I've got over here a framework. It's a really basic framework that we're going to work through. So why, what, how, and then finally a prioritization or a hierarchy around your goals. And we're going to dive into great details on it. But I'm actually going to start way down here at uh, prioritization. I'm going to call some of the, the dirty little secrets. And that is the things that nobody wants to tell you. There's a lot of pieces on goal setting, um, and it's all about, you know, you can accomplish anything that you want. Guess what? You fucking can't. I'm sorry. It comes down to what can you cut out, okay? The things that you can cut out of your life or sacrifice are going to allow you to have more time, more energy to focus on the things that are important to you. So that... It, 
it, it's something that people don't necessarily want to hear and why you see people that achieve high, very high level of success in some areas are often very unbalanced people. And I'm not saying that that's what you need to be, but you need to understand how it works. So like in my discussion about career, I didn't talk about lifting, but I was lifting and had the gym at the same time. Um, I know that if I didn't focus as much on those athletic endeavors that I had, that I would have been even more successful. The fact that I said, you know, every Monday and Wednesday at 4.30, regardless of what's happening, uh, I'm out the door because training is also a priority for me, right? And I have these goals that I want to accomplish as far as, you know, hitting this level, hitting this record. Uh, and so there was a sacrifice I took there. I could have been a much higher, I could have been quite wealthy. I could have done, you know, all these things if I, I, I knew I had the skills to do it, but I wasn't, able, I wasn't willing to give that up. At the same time, I also know that I could have performed a lot better on the athletic side if I didn't have this extremely high stress, high profile career had I chosen to take an easier approach, not have that and focus more on those athletic endeavors. But again, these are all choices and no regrets at all whatsoever in that because you know I have a, an overarching plan or a goal uh, quite some time ago of essentially launching what we have as far as Kabuki strength. And I knew that in that I needed to have the business expertise, I needed to actually build a background of security as far as uh, income and savings to be able to launch it. I needed to have and become a recognized expert as far as uh, human movement, loading, uh, and accomplishments in the lifting world, right? So I had to focus on all that to do and create this platform, this coaching platform, where I feel that I can actually now really realize my longer term goal, which is to have a greater impact uh, within the world uh, by helping people with uh, that skill set um, to live better through strength. So, so again, there's nothing wrong with any of your choices but you must sacrifice or know what you're willing to give up, to cut out, because the more that you can cut, the more that you can bring priority to the things that are important. There's a reason I'm covering this first, okay? The reason I'm covering priority first and helping you understand this, it becomes really important in understanding why, okay? We can't just pick a goal because I saw somebody do something awesome and I wanna go do that too, okay? You've gotta have a reason behind what you're doing, okay? This is really, yeah, this is foundation piece here. You've got to know why you're setting the goals that you're setting, okay? And we're gonna work through a process on, on, uh, on that and starting with that. So, I actually wrote a piece on this a while ago with some questions. Questions are always good. You can pick better questions. These probably these were just happened to be what was on my mind at the time. But just something to start the introspection process around the whys. Okay. Not sure if you'll be able to read this, so I'll just read through them. You can type in Duffin goal setting uh, in Google. The, this will come up again. There's a whole lot of better ways, but this is just going to start creating the framework before we start moving into the process of how we come up with our whys. But just some things to help you think about in life. Why do you want to do what you want to do? And then how can we create goals around bringing that out? So first question, you know, just what excites you in life? Like, think about the things, not this, like, I saw this, I want to accomplish that, I want this fancy car, like, what excites you in life? Good one. What type of people do you want to have around you? This can help you understand, like, who do you want to be? Who do you, what do you want to surround yourself with? Um, these are good questions to help you build that framework, that vision, that, of those important things in your life. What do you want to learn? What challenges do you want to overcome? What would make you feel good if, you know, those accomplishments, those pieces 
uh, and that you were able to, 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 to have? What unique value can you add or contribute to the world? I think this is an important one here. So what drives you that you think that you can be additive to this, to, to this world? Okay, everybody's got a unique skill set, but thinking about these, those, those sorts of things can help you, again, arrive to those whys. And how do you want to spend your time? So these are important questions. Some people want to bury themselves in work. Some people want to find that, uh, that sandy beach in Cancun and you know have a corona. These are all okay, there's nothing wrong. We're not gonna criticize any type of goal or whatever your goals are. We just have to understand, why do we have these goals? So the first step of the process with why is get out. This is uh, you want to get some sticky notes to walk through this. So um, some post its is a is a good one um, to to use. And we're going to ask you to write down on those post its. Take five, seven, ten of them, uh, what have you but somewhere in that five to 10 range. And write down words that you have some affinity to, okay? And I've given some examples here. Again, I'm gonna read through these in case you can't see them. But family, work, wealth, passion, community, personal growth, health, Security, leisure, spirit, achievement, recognition, faith, legal. Could be more. But a one word that are like key things that you could associate yourself with. Okay? This is a trick, actually. Not all these are wise. Some of these are going to get to the uh, their what's or how's but we'll get to that. So I'll, I'll show you an example though. Wealth, well, it's not really a why, but maybe security is your why, and wealth is what you're gonna do to accomplish that. Or maybe achievement is your why, like that's the piece that you really connect with. But your what, your output is, I, I wanna measure, and I'm gonna measure it with wealth, okay? So here, we pick three different words, okay? I've got two here that are wise. What do I want out of life? I want challenge and achievement. I wanna win. I want comfort, I want security, I wanna be able to take care of my family, myself, and not have stress, not have worry, okay? Now we're gonna start, now we can start creating a foundation for goals. But first we've gotta have, why do we wanna have these goals, okay? Achievement. I wanna do huge things, I wanna squat a thousand pounds, I, uh, you know, I, I wanna be CEO of a company. That's all right. But what is it? It's achievement, it's accomplishment. Maybe it's recognition, okay? Again, maybe that, 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 that leisure might be, you know, that the spiritual fulfillment, finding yourself, those sorts of things. We're all different people, but understanding the whys are really important. What are those words that you really connect with in life? And I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you uh, some of mine, okay? Uh, as we walk through this, I'm gonna show you the, the, the process here. So, um, for me, this one here, passion. I want to live my life with passion no matter what I do. I want it to be something that I care about, that I can put all my effort into. I want to live a life with passion. This is important to me. Might not be a surprise. Achievement. This is a pretty big piece for me. Like, I like to win. I like setting big, gnarly goals and showing the world that I can do it, okay? Security, all right? 
that's an important piece for me. Think about my upbringing, like the ability to, to create for my family what I didn't have for myself, why I took custody of my sisters, why I did the things that I did. This is important for me, and actually is kind of counter to some of my other key things, um, because they, they, they work against each other at, at, at certain points. Um, because the other is maybe tied to, to achievement here, but it's more of just like the growth, the personal growth, the challenge. Like I need to be pushing and scaring myself a bit. Taking on endeavors, like going into a company that might be losing everything and me losing my job and them all losing their jobs, uh, to launching, uh, walking away from a successful career so that I could chase my passion, but also scare the shit out of myself. I might fail, I might flop, okay? I might lose everything that I worked over the past 20 years for to make it happen. So again, it, it counters security, but it's still like a piece for me. This is a why, okay? So there's four. I probably have some more, but these, these are whys for me, okay? So this is, there's no goals here yet. We haven't got any goals. Uh, sorry about that, we're gonna get there. Uh, but uh, that's, that is, you've gotta have that introspection piece. You've gotta understand, what do I want out of life? Who do I wanna be? Like, how do I want to live, okay? off to the side a little bit here. I'm still in the frame, okay. Now, we're gonna start getting closer to our goals, closer, another step closer to the goals, okay? What? What are we gonna do that it's gonna bring these things for us, okay? I like to think about it in pillars, a pillar of importance. What are pillars and cornerstones of your life that can bring about these things, okay? And I'm gonna start uh, putting this, organizing this. This thought process as a whole has been, um, and the detail behind all these has been with me for quite some time. Uh, over this last year, I actually stole an organization of it uh, from a man named Bill uh, Hoffield. And we'll start laying that out. And actually, I'm missing something here. So actually, we'll explain what that means here in a minute. But uh, you'll notice on my stickies, I laid out my whys in this direction here. We're going to start laying out what's, okay? So we can actually start taking, you've made that list of, uh, of uh, at this point, hopefully, or maybe in, after you watch this, you'll go back and you, you'll review. What, what's that other, li those list of words that you had affinity for? We just started just throwing them out here on paper and noticed some were what's, some were why's. I pulled out the why's here. But what are some of the what's? For me, actually money is one of them. Okay, why? Money can help me bring security. I can buy a home. I can take care of my family. It's also a measure of my business success. You know, what is my it's achievement? Those sorts of things, right? Is it the biggest in the world for me? Oh, hell no. Um, I'm actually really bad with money. I spend it all. Uh, but uh, athletic, yeah. Definitely achievement, right? Growth, personal challenge, okay? But there's pillars, there's no goal here yet. Like these are, what are the ways that I can express this stuff? Pillars of importance or expression. 
of your whys. Okay? Expression of your whys. Here, we'll put another one. I, uh, this may be the same. Like, again, these are mine. This is, this is personally me, the things that would be on my, uh, on my goals. Actually, they do have this uh, all laid out somewhere. Um, health. I have it separate than athletic. Like a lot of people, like in your normal world, probably would consider all that one. Maybe they don't even have it on their goal, right? Um, but this would be separate health goals that uh, may be different than that. And I'll, I'll, I'll walk through that once we, uh, once we get there, which is uh, our hows, which are, are actually goals. Family. Move this down. Creativity. Yeah, you guessed it. I love expressing that in both uh, my work, my personal passions, anybody that follows my stuff. Business. Okay? So these are all huge pillars. Okay? Of how I express my whys. All right? Again. So... Now we start moving into our actual goals. Now we've got a framework for understanding like really important things that are gonna start driving us to things that are gonna give us what we want out of life. Not just this random thing that caught my fancy and I saw somebody do this or I read an article. Like We end up with these little goals that, that may, may or may not be the big drivers in life, okay? I gotta make sure my car payment's on time next month. I gotta make sure my laundry's done this week. Okay, those are good goals. I'm not saying, you know, not to do them. You know, but maybe we gotta understand why, okay? Maybe I plan on taking out a small business loan and am on the verge of making, missing my car payment. Okay, so missing that is gonna affect my ability to that, which then affects you know, my achievement or my security or those sorts of things, right? So it is a piece, all right? But maybe it's not. Maybe it's not a priority as we start working into, once we get back into our prioritization or a hierarchy of goals. But we've got to understand these things. How does it fit in so that I can focus on the right things, okay? Because uh, that is what's going to be the driver to actually make this stuff happen. Why I talked about sacrifice, because you're not going to be able to do everything. The bigger, more gnarly goals that you've got, the more other stuff you've got to cut out. Okay? And we need to, as we get into the house, Start creating a vision. The hows need to be a vision. They need to be expressive. They can't be, I want to bench 500 pounds because I want to bench 500 pounds. Okay? Again, now maybe benching 500 pounds is your goal and you're going to fit it under athletic, which will tie into some achievement. But you need to start thinking, how do I do it? which is why I call it a how. Frame it as a question. How do I? We need to start looking at all the little pieces that are going to add up to it. I've spoken to this a number of times, but it's the difference between dreamers and doers. And when I was going to school, you know, the teachers would talk about, you've got to dream big, you've got to dream big. And I say, bull fucking shit. Okay. I have met so many dreamers in my life that have never accomplished anything. Because they've got this big dream, I want to do this. They've got no idea how to get there. They have no vision. They have no ability to know that every step I'm taking today, even if it's, it's, it's a minor, is a path towards this. Okay? So now we've got to start flushing that out. That's what I call a vision. It's all the dirty little work along the way. The drudgery, the monotony, 
the, the little tiny wins that are hard to, hard to keep track of or, or, or think that are important. But if you've got this framework, now you can start seeing, like, why is that little win a big piece? How does it move me forward in creating the life that I want to live? Okay? That is the important. That's what I call creating the vision. All the steps along the way. Because you're going to need that. You need to be able to, to, to have those little wins and be able to celebrate it to keep you motivated, to keep you moving forward, or just knowing that I've got a lot of work. I've got a lot of work to get to where I want to go. And the fact that, you know, I started, a, you know, a, a YouTube channel to create content and I'm six months in and I've got 50 followers. I'm going to just give up and walk away. Well, no, it, focus on the vision. You, you got to just start creating content. Get it out there. Like, do the things. Like, it's going to be years, possibly, before you start seeing traction. There is no overnight success. That's why it's important to be able to start framing these as questions like, how do I accomplish this? Not, my goal is to, okay? How do I, not my goal is, all right? So that is, we've got our whys, we've got our what's across the top. This isn't exactly a, it's not a grid chart. This is, these are just straight pillars down this way of every one of your what's, but not necessarily tied to this. This is just uh, overall reference and why I separated this line here, right here. As I'm putting these together, just a reference of my whys, okay? So it's not like, I need to fill one goal here that matches both of these. That's not how it works. You're just taking, my goal is athletic endeavors right now, okay? Um, and uh, I wanna have, yeah, as I'm athletic endeavors, things that I can be passionate about, that bring me achievement, that challenge me, okay? What are they? Well, let's, put, let's put some down. I'm gonna squat 1,000 pounds. All right, great, okay, all right. What else do I want to do? What's gonna, you know, what jazzes me up? I want a single arm barbell snatch 225, why? It fits this stuff, okay? It works for me, doesn't work for you. I didn't ask myself the hows. How do I do this? So from here, now you've got to start flushing this out. So you may need to take this and break this down somewhere else so we can start doing this. But it also feeds the how. How do I accomplish achievement through athletics? Okay. How do I bring security for my family? Okay. How do I bring passion to my family? Well, let's see. Um, I'm going to have... Date night with the wife, two eggs a month. All right, that's a good one. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do two family vacations for the year. And I'd probably be more specific, like start like listing what they are, uh, when I'm gonna do them. So. Uh, one thing I didn't, this is a, uh, um, I'm being very brief on here because of my cards and trying to write them uh, for you to be able to see them. But most everybody's seen this. Okay, smart goals. Okay, specific, measurable, this is why I wrote this stuff in advance because I wouldn't like spelling mistakes, I'm probably making them out. Okay, uh, achievable, 
Am I getting that right, Andre? Realistic and time bound. Okay? So every one of these right in here needs to have this associated with it, okay? Pretty uh, well-known process for creating goals is to uh, use that process, but every one of these needs to have that on it, okay? So now we're gonna flush out all these pillars that are all feeding into our whys. And now we gotta get back to prioritization, okay? So of this, we can go back in here and just highlight like what are the big, like the three or four like major things that I want to accomplish, okay? To really bring about uh, that focus. Because some of them can be bigger, gnarlier, a lot of them may be quick uh, things that you could knock off. Uh, this is from uh, Bill Hoffield as well, um, but uh, ones that you can accomplish in 90 days, the next 90 days, grab those, pop them over here. These are your short-term goals that we want to go after, okay? Now, we've got this laid out. Now we can start looking at our prioritization again. By prioritization, I mean look at your fucking life, okay? What are the things that you're doing today that are feeding to this? What are the things that you're going to do tomorrow, next week, next month? Take your time once a day, once a week, and think through this. Pull this out and look at what you're doing. Because it is so easy to get lost in the drudgery of day-to-day -day just living. Okay? I'm going to get home. Gotta make sure the laundry's going. Uh, got that show, uh, you know the one. Gotta make sure I watch that tonight. Uh, catch up on the Netflix and, uh, oh, buddies are coming over Sunday. Um, we're gonna watch the game, have some beers. Uh, um, and time rolls, six months rolls by. Six months is gone. We've got to start Dirty secrets. Cutting things out of your life so that you can focus on the things that are going to drive you forward and give you the things that you want out of life. The why. The why are you living? Why? <laughs> what, what is the framework? The thing that you want to build out of your life? It's hard to do. It's really easy to let life live you. We got the daily grind. <sighs> Sunday's a stress out Sunday. I gotta get, you know, gonna lose the whole week and all right, Friday's rolling around. Gonna catch up on all my, all my chores and uh, do, a, do a couple things. And like I said, catch up on the Netflix or whatever it is. That, that's not the life that you want, okay? Is it gonna create anything for you? You're gonna keep punching the clock at the same old job every day that doesn't bring you any joy if that's what it, like, go after it. But make sure every day you're doing something that is driving one of these forward, okay? Look at those timelines. Your goals need to be time bound. Open-ended goals never get accomplished. So, it's a pretty straightforward process. You've got to really do the introspection and understand why you're creating the goals that you're going to create. What is it that you want out of life? From there, we're gonna pick how we're actually, what are the things that we're going to do that's going to bring us this? Okay, what are those pillars? Okay, where'd my pillars 
What are those pillars of importance? Or think of it, the expression of the whys. How do I express that? Okay. Now we start getting into our specific measurable time-bound goals. We want to frame them as questions. How do I accomplish or exceed in this manner so that I can create a vision for what I want to accomplish? All the steps, everything along the way and not just be a dreamer so that I can take action and do. And I mean do. Cut the prioritization. Cut the crap out of your life that isn't part of what's those important things for you. You can't have everything. You can have a lot. You can balance it whatever manner you want. I gave you some examples for myself that could have been considered bad but are good because of the choices and what I wanted out of life. Uh, let's uh, let's open it up for questions, Andre.